Chapter Eleven of the Master's Indwelling by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Triumph of Faith. John Chapter Four, Verse Fifty. And the man believed the word that Jesus had spoken unto him. Let me quote from the Gospel according to St. John, the fourth chapter, beginning at the forty sixth verse so jesus came again into cana of galilee where he made the water wine and there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at capernaum when he heard that jesus was come up out of judea into galilee he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son for he was at the point of death then jesus said unto him except ye see signs and wonders ye will not believe there you have the word believe the first time the nobleman saith unto him sir come down ere my child die jesus saith unto him go thy way thy son liveth and the man believed the word that jesus had spoken unto him and he went his way there you have that word the second time and as he was now going down his servants met him and told him saying thy son liveth then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend and they said unto him yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him so the father knew that it was at the same hour in the which jesus said unto him thy son liveth and himself believed and his whole house there you have the word faith this story has often been used to illustrate the different steps of faith in the spiritual life it was this use made of it in an address that brought the sainted canon battersby into the full enjoyment of rest he had been a most godly man but had lived the life of failure he saw in the story what it was to rest on the word and trust the saving power of jesus and from that night he was a changed man he went home to testify of it and under god he was allowed to originate the keswick convention let me point out to you the three aspects of faith which we have here first faith seeking then faith finding and then faith enjoying or still better faith struggling faith resting faith triumphing first of all faith struggling here is a man a heathen a nobleman who has heard about christ he has a dying son at capernaum and in his extremity leaves his home and walks some six or seven hours away to cana of galilee he has heard of the prophet possibly as one who has made water wine he has heard of his other miracles round capernaum and he has a certain trust that jesus will be able to help him he goes to him and his prayer is that the lord will come down to capernaum and heal his son christ said to him except ye see signs and wonders ye will not believe he saw that the nobleman wanted him to come and stand beside the child this man had not the faith of the centurion only speak a word he had faith it was faith that came from hearsay and it was faith that did to a certain extent hope in christ but it was not the faith in christ's power such as christ desired still christ accepted and met this faith after the lord had thus told him what he wished a faith that could fully trust him the nobleman cried the second time sir come down ere my child die seeing his earnestness and his trust christ said go thy way thy son liveth and then we read that the nobleman believed he believed and he went his way he believed the word that jesus had spoken in that he rested and was content and he went away without having any other pledge than the word of jesus as he was walking homeward the servants met him to tell him his son lived he asked at what hour he began to amend and when they told him he knew it was at the very hour that jesus had been speaking to him he had at first a faith that was seeking and struggling and searching for blessing then he had a faith that accepted the blessing simply as it was contained in the word of jesus when christ said thy son liveth he was content and went home and found the blessing the son restored 
then came the third step in his faith he believed with his whole house that is to say he did not only believe that christ could do just this one thing the healing of his son but he believed in christ as his lord he gave himself up entirely to be a disciple of jesus and that not only alone but with his whole house many christians are like the nobleman they have heard about a better life they have met certain individuals by whose christian lives they have been impressed and consequently have felt that christ can do wonderful things for a man many christians say in their heart i am sure there is a better life for me to live how i wish i could be brought to that blessed state but they have not much hope about it they have read and prayed but they have found everything so difficult if you ask them do you believe jesus can help you to live this higher life they say yes he is omnipotent if you ask do you believe jesus wishes to do it they say yes i know he is loving and if you say do you believe that he will do it for you they at once say i know he is willing but whether he will actually do it for me i do not know i am not sure that i am prepared i do not know if i am advanced enough i do not know if i have enough grace for that and so they are hungering struggling wrestling and often remain unblessed this state of things sometimes goes on for years they are expecting to see signs and wonders and hoping that god by a miracle will put them all right they are just like the israelites they limit the holy one of israel have you ever noticed that it is the very people whom god has blessed so wonderfully who do that what did the israelites say god hath provided water in the wilderness but can he provide the table in the wilderness we do not think he can and so we find believers who say yes god has done wonders the whole of redemption is a wonder and god has done wonders for some whom i know but will god take one so feeble as i and put me entirely right the struggling and wrestling and seeking are the beginnings of faith in you a faith that desires and hopes but it must go on further and how can that faith advance look at the second step there is the nobleman and christ speaks to him this wonderful word go thy way thy son liveth and the nobleman simply rests upon that word of the living jesus he rests on it and without any proof of what he is to get and without one man in the world to encourage him he goes away home with the thought i have received the blessing i sought i have got life from the dead for my son the living christ promised it me and on that i rest the struggling seeking faith has become a resting faith the man has entered into rest about his son and now dear believers this is the one thing god asks you to do god has said that in christ you have eternal life the more abundant life christ has said to you i live and ye shall live also the word says to us that christ is our peace our victory over every enemy who leads us into the rest of god these are the words of god and his message has come to us that christ can do for us what moses could not have done moses had no christ to live in him but it is told you that you can have what moses had not you can have a living christ within you are you going to believe that apart from any experience and apart from any consciousness of strength if the peace of god is to rule in your heart it is the god of peace himself must be there to do it the peace is inseparable from the god the light of the sun can i separate that from the sun utterly impossible as long as i have the sun i have the light if i lose the sun i lose the light take care do not seek the peace of god or the peace of christ apart from god and christ but how does christ come to me he comes to me in this precious word and just as he said to the nobleman go thy way home thy son liveth so christ comes to me today and he says go thy way thy saviour liveth lo i am with you alway i live and ye shall live also i wait to take charge of your whole life will you have me do this trust to me all that is evil and feeble 
your whole sinful and perverse nature give it up to me that dying sin-sick soul give it up to me and i will take care of it will you not listen and hear him speak to your soul child go forward into all the circumstances of life that have tempted you into all the difficulties that threaten you your soul lives with the life of god your soul lives in the power of god your soul lives in christ jesus will you not like the nobleman take the simple step of faith and believe the word jesus hath spoken will you not say lord jesus thou hast spoken i can rest on thy word i have seen that christ is willing to be more to me than i ever knew i have seen that christ is willing to be my life in the most actual and intense meaning of the words all that we know about the holy ghost sums itself up in this one thing the holy ghost comes to make christ an actual indwelling always abiding saviour lastly comes the triumphant faith the man went home holding fast the promise he had only one promise but he held it fast when god gives me a promise he is just as near me as when he fulfills it that is a great comfort when i have the promise i have also the pledge of the fulfillment but the whole heart of god is in his promise just as much as in the fulfillment of it and sometimes god the promiser is more precious because i am compelled to cling more to him and to come closer and to live by simple faith and to adore his love do not think this is a hard life to be living upon a promise it means living upon the everlasting god who is going to say that is hard it means living upon the crucified the loving christ be ashamed to say that is a difficult thing it is a blessed thing the nobleman went home and found the child living and what happened then two things first he gave up his whole life to be a believer in jesus if there had been a division among the people of capernaum and thousands of them had hated christ this man would still have stood on his side he believed in the lord this is what must take place with us let us go forward with our trust in the living christ knowing that he will keep us then we will get grace to carry the life of christ into our whole conduct into all our walk and conversation the faith that rests in jesus is the faith that trusts all to him with all we have do we not read that when god had finished his work and rested it was only to begin new work yes the great work was to be carried on watching over and ruling his world and his church and is it not so with the lord jesus when he had finished his work he sat upon the throne to do his work of perfecting the body through the holy spirit and now the holy spirit is carrying on that blessed work teaching us to rest in christ and in the strength of that rest to go on and to cover our whole life with the power and the obedience and the will and the likeness of the lord jesus the nobleman gave up his whole life to be a believer in christ and from that day it was a believer in jesus who walked about the streets of capernaum not only a man who could say once he helped me but i believe in him with my whole life let that be so with us everywhere let christ be the one object of our trust one thought more he believed with his whole house that was triumphant faith he took up his position as a believer in christ and his wife his children his servants he gathered them all together and laid them at the feet of christ and if you want power in your own house if you want power in your bible class if you want power in your social circle if you want power to influence the nation and if you want power to influence the church of christ see where it begins come into contact with jesus in this rest of faith that accepts his life fully that trusts him fully and the power will come by faith to overcome the world by faith to bless others by faith to live a life to the glory of god go thy way thy soul liveth for it is jesus christ who liveth within you go thy way be not trembling and fearful 
but rest in the word and the power of the son of god lo i am with you alway go thy way with the heart open to welcome him and the heart believing he has come in surely we have not prayed in vain christ has listened to the yearnings of our hearts and has entered in let us go our way quietly restfully full of praise and joy and trust ever hearing the words of our master go thy way thy soul liveth and ever saying i have trusted christ to reveal his abundant life in my soul by his grace i will wait upon him to fulfil his promise amen end of chapter 11